Hi guys and welcome to a Christmassy video. So over the next few weeks leading up to Christmas, we have 15 more days to go. I am going to get out a few Christmassy videos for you guys, so look out for those. Um, I have left it a little bit later um, in the month to do this and I'm really sorry about that. But it was only just the other day I was sitting there thinking, I want to do this and I want to do that. So I'm going to get them all out over the next few weeks. Fingers crossed if I can get them filmed and up for you guys. So today's video, I am going to do the Holly Jolly Holiday Tag. I have seen a few people doing this. Not too many. I haven't seen it like taking over yet. But I just thought it looked like a lot of fun. A lot of the people I have actually seen do it feature their children in it. And I asked Jaden last night to do it with me. He didn't want a bar of it. I've just asked Bentley to do it with me because he is home unwell today, unfortunately. He doesn't want to do it. He just wants to lie on the couch and watch Dora. So, you guys are stuck with me again, but I promise the kids are going to be in a lot of the videos that I have coming up. So hopefully, hopefully you guys will see more of their faces and less of mine. So the first question is, the favourite Christmas movie? I don't have a favourite Christmas movie. To be honest, I, I don't tend to watch them. Like when they start advertising on TV and um, that's all that's on TV leading up to Christmas... We don't tend to watch them. We do put them on for the kids. Like, especially if it's a cartoon, I will say to the kids, um, you know, oh, this is on. Do you guys want to watch this? And they'll sit down and watch it. But me, personally, I don't have a favourite. And I know for a fact that Jono hates the Tim Allen movies. It's not the fact that he doesn't like Tim Allen, but it's every year. Like, Santa Claus, Santa Claus 2, all of those. He's just like, oh, here they are again. So... They are the movies that we do not watch, <laughs> but um, we'll always tell the kids if there's a Christmas movie on and let the kids watch them. Number three is show us an embarrassing Christmas card photo. So we don't do Christmas card photos. I feel like I'm only up to number three and I'm like, we don't do any of these. Um, but we, <laughs> we don't do anything for Christmas. Um, so we don't do photos on Christmas cards. When we were younger, we would send out Christmas cards to our friends and that, but they were just the um, cards that you buy at the shop. We never really did Christmas photos. Number four, have you ever had a white Christmas? No. I don't know why I'm bothering with this tag. <laughs> Where I live, um, we are in New Zealand and I'm up the top. Um, we It doesn't snow here and we have never gone away to where it snows for Christmas. So we have not had a white Christmas. Number five, where do you usually spend your holiday? This I can answer. So we always spend it around home. Not so much in our house, so to speak. But if we don't have Christmas at our house, we have Christmas at my mum's house or... Um, somewhere like that so we're always like with family and around the area that we live we we don't go away for christmas so to speak we like to spend christmas with our family play or sing your favorite christmas song Baby's Christmas um, is just a song that I've always kind of heard about growing up. My mum really liked it and so she always talked about it and would kind of be like, you know, what is that, you know? And um, as we got older, we'd start like hearing it around kind of in the supermarkets and things like that. So if you haven't heard Snoopy's Christmas, definitely check it out. It's on YouTube. That's where I just showed you guys. Um, and yeah, I it's the Wayne Christmas song I actually really, really like it. Number seven, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? If you can hear Bentley in the background, he's kind of getting bored and playing up a little bit, but he still refuses to come over here. Um, number seven, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? No, we don't. Um, I think there was one year with our kids, we did let them open one, I think. Um, other than that, no, we don't open any presents. And I remember though, one year when I was a child, um, as we got a little bit older, we kind of nagged to open presents. So one year mum and dad did actually let us have all of our presents on Christmas Eve so then they could get us sleeping on Christmas and you know it's fun at the time but then when Christmas morning comes around you're kind of like ah oh, there's no presents. Number eight, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? No, I <laughs> I can't. There's like obviously there's Rudolph, 
And there's like there's one called Prancer. That's all I know. So look who I have got join me. Wanna say hi? No. No, he's not feeling very good. So he's just gonna have snuggles. I'm not sure if he's in the camera, but he's just gonna have snuggles with me. Hey. Okay. You have snuggles. Okay, the next question. What holiday tradition are you looking forward to most this year? So, if I'm completely honest, I am looking forward to seeing my family. I, growing up, obviously was all about the presents. That's kind of just how, like, we weren't brought up to be all about the presents. But as kids, you know, you can't help but want the presents for Christmas. Um, And then this year, I... I still like getting presents. I know that sounds selfish and I'm not being selfish, but I still like a little surprise on Christmas Day, you know. And But this year we um, were sitting there talking, if, me and my husband were talking about if we we're going to do presents for each other. And he kind of turned around and said, well, let's not do presents for each other, you know. it's If we need something, we can go out and buy it for ourselves and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, no, but I want a present under the tree. <laughs> like... Even if it's like a box of chocolates, I want a present to unwrap. But the more I thought about it, the more okay I was about it. Because then I was sitting there and I was like, you know what I can't wait to do this year is to see my mum and dad. And I think that just comes with growing up. You soon start realising, you know, what Christmas is about. And honestly, there's just a different feeling on Christmas Day. Like, I see my parents all the time most weekends. But there's just a different feeling on Christmas Day. And I'm just really looking forward to having my mum and dad here. And, um, I don't know, just nice food and kind of just hanging out. So that is actually what I am looking forward to most this year. As well as just Christmas morning. Like, I just love watching the kids open presents. I, I don't know. I just, I love Christmas. And, yeah. Number 10. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? It's fake. Nothing real about that one. We've never had a real Christmas tree. Um, we've just always had the fake Christmas trees. It's it's easier. Pick it up, put it in a box in the shed for next year. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever really have a real Christmas tree. I love fake ones. Um, number 11. Hands down, what's your all-time favourite holiday food and holiday sweet treat? So... My all-time favourite holiday food, if I'm thinking about generally, like, on Christmas Day, what do I want to have on the table sort of thing, I really want a pavlova with cream and, like, a flake on the top. Oh! Don't put my hair. And I really want my mum's... I suppose you could say that's kind of the sweet treat I like, but that's the one dessert I... You know, that's the one food I want on the table. The other one is my mum makes this real nice potato and egg hot meal thing every time we have an event like if it's you know like a birthday party or something like that um or even a barbecue i'm like can you make the egg and potato thing so that's the one thing i really love having and then when christmas comes around i'm like it's a good excuse to say to her so you're gonna make it <laughs> um and sweet treat like i did say the pavlova but i also just like chocolate santas it's the one thing i last night Jono um, was actually stopping in at the warehouse on his way home, and I did text him. Oh, Bentley just bumped the camera. I did text him. I was like, "Can you get me a chocolate Santa?" So that's the one thing like I love having is chocolate Santas. Um, number twelve. Be oh. honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts? So, like I said before, um, I like getting presents, but to be honest, I like giving gifts. I actually, as as hard as it is sometimes and as frustrating as it is and as expensive as it is i love christmas shopping i really do i get almost addicted to shopping around christmas time and it's just because i love going and finding presents for people i love buying the kids presents i love making up like little bags of goodies for my sisters i really do like giving presents um number 13 show us your tackiest christmas attire I don't, oh, I don't, I don't think I've got, like, tacky Christmas attire. Like, there's, there's nothing Christmassy themed that I wear on Christmas Day. I do remember one year I had, like, a, I think it was, like, a cowboy hat, but it was, like, red 
and sparkly I think but I can't really remember when that was I don't really have Christmas attire so to speak um number 14 what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season so here in New Zealand it's summer over Christmas anyway otherwise like I do hear people in America say oh, I want to go to somewhere hot and that kind of thing but we have our hottest weather over Christmas here in New Zealand but I would love to have a I guess we're the opposite I would love to have a white Christmas so for some reason if you know we did decide to travel overseas or something for Christmas I'd love to go somewhere where it snows and just have like a white Christmas I don't know where but that would be awesome just number 15 does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make no <laughs> not really but the one thing is like my mum will make a trifle and that is one thing I actually should learn how to make is a trifle because that's something everyone loves and if it was left down to me I wouldn't know how to make it so I really should learn how to make a trifle number 16 are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably I think I do well unless it is a weird shaped present and then I just sticky tape it down wherever I can possibly stick it down otherwise I think I do alright so number 17 is most memorable holiday moment I don't think there's anything that overly sticks in my head I like there's not something I would say oh there was this one time I think the biggest Christmas in the last little while that I really remember and that sticks in my head though is my first Christmas with Bentley and Jono and that's because right up until then it was always just me and my family, um, me and Jaden and my family, you know. And then the Christmas that we had Bentley and Jono, because I met Jono in the January and we got pregnant straight away. And then we had Bentley in the October. And the Christmas that December was just, I just had my own family, my own little family to wake up with and that kind of thing. So that Christmas was really memorable for me. Um, and it was just nice to, I don't know, have have my partner and my kids there and yes yeah, so that is the one what are you doing so that is the one christmas that really does kind of stick in my head but every christmas i remember every christmas has its kind of memorable moment number 18 what made you realize the truth about santa okay so if you've got young kids watching this block there is <laughs> we never believed in santa as young kids we may have i can't quite remember as long as i remember i've always known the truth about Santa. I've always known that my mum and dad gave us the presents. Mum and dad never wrote from Santa on our presents or anything like that. We always knew. We always knew when we went into shops that Santa Claus sitting there was someone else, you know. So we've never really had a firm belief in Santa Claus. Maybe as young, young children, but generally we've never had a firm belief in Santa Claus. 19. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? Oh yeah, all the time. I always make a New Year's resolution. Do I stick to them? Never. Never. Like, probably for a week. <laughs> Number 20, final question. What makes the holidays special for you? So, I think ever since I had kids, the holidays have been, like, a big thing for me. Before I had kids, and when I was a lot younger, I guess Christmas was Christmas. You're always excited about, you know, the presents and all that kind of stuff. But really, for me, Christmas is special now because of my kids. And I love making Christmas something for them, especially the last few years I've really got into it. I've really liked setting up for Christmas and kind of making the house a bit more Christmassy. I love um, kind of doing Christmassy activities for them. I love that they have time off school. So here in New Zealand, um, they have their summer holidays so they're off for six weeks and I really like having them around it's so nice and hot outside and we go and do a lot my husband has quite a bit of time off school off work so just the whole summer period I love it's I do think it's a special time of year I do like um being together as a family and like I said earlier I like having my family around as well I my mum goes on holiday my dad goes on holiday um and you know so it's nice to be able to go see them and do little day trips and I don't know I just love the whole family thing the whole Christmas thing I just everything makes it special it's just a whole different time of year there's something about this time of year that just seems so more different and so more exciting than any other time of year so that was a holly jolly holiday tag 
If you want to do it, like I said, I will list all the questions below. Go and have a go about it and I will see you guys in my next video.